in sixth grade my mom came up to me and was like Megan like you should try out for lacrosse and I was like ooh because I was doing so many other things at that point but I did it and it was honestly the best thing that I could have ever done because it changed my life like for the better and it just set me on the path like for my life because I'm gonna play next year at Coastal Carolina and then I want to go on and like to coach at the college level so this whole video is about like the evolution of lacrosse like from rec all the way to um, college the mainland rec team that I coached uh, consisted of uh, players who were seventh graders and eighth graders, and we had a, they had a whole spectrum of players. What I mean, we had players who obviously played the game before, who had skill, who had talent, and then we had other players who were picking up the stick for the first time. So the challenge was to get these group of girls to try to come together and play as a team. And um, I think we were able to accomplish that uh, throughout the season. Every game, they got better. They were, you know, working with each other, supporting each other. And um, before games, uh, they would huddle up, and then they came up with the idea to sing this song "Can't Hold Us" by Macklemore. The, the girls really thrived on that. They had the energy, and um, we had a very successful season. So what did I think of Megan Mazi when I first met her? Hello. I actually thought, who is this little bit with these big eyes the at a clinic before she came into mainland? And I thought, oh my gosh, she's so tiny. She's got so much energy. She's super chatty. Let's see her on the field. And she was a force to be reckoned with. She was amazing. Fast. Great shot. As a young player, she was very youthful on the field. She'd be dancing around if she heard any kind of music playing. She would wave to us as coaches on the sideline. And she always had questions. But experience showed in her play. Megan was able to assist and pass well and score like nobody else. Hi, my name is Chris Reichel. I'm the director of T3 Cross. Here to talk about Megan Bozzi and how she came to T3. Uh, Megan and her two friends um, came up from South Jersey and tried out in the bubble at the Atlanta Club for one of our teams. Right away they made an impression on us and Megan was such a wonderful young player right from the beginning that we put her right on our black team. They kind of hung together for a couple of years and ended up making great friends with everybody else on the team. And by the time they became juniors, um, Megan and her South Jersey comrades all became three of our best players. Um, overall, just a wonderful kid, great personality, great stick skills, and uh, she'll be just a wonderful asset to her college team. Meg came to us uh, eighth grade going into ninth grade looking to better her skills to take her game to the next level. Um, she was quickly noticed that she was a, a very good skilled player. Um, came out and did a lot of work for us. Uh, played hard every game. Um, we're expecting big things out of Meg. She's a shooter. Um, she can wrap the crease. She goes hard. Uh, she's a team leader on the team. We're just thrilled to have had her part of our program and we look forward to seeing her at the next level. Hey! <laughs> this is how we feel. <laughs> you know what it was when you signed up? Hi, I'm here to talk about Megan Bozzi, the perennial powerhouse in the cow that we are fortunate enough to have here at Mainland Regional. Um, as a junior um, and as a senior. Her growth uh, was exponential. Megan was always the player that other teams would zone in on. I think there was a big growth in Megan as far as um, her skills, her speed, and her conditioning from her junior year to her senior year. But there also was a huge um, mental growth for her because from her junior year to her senior year, she found herself sometimes double teamed and triple teamed. And that's not easy to shake off. Um, it physically beats you down and it can mentally be beat you down. But Megan, um, thankfully for us for the program, she bounced back. Um, actually, she never even had a bounce. She just always handled it um, in every game, day in and day out. And her growth, I think, is really going to carry her forward in her college years, and she's going to be super successful.
Uh, Meg will go on to play Division One lacrosse. She's just a phenomenal player with great skills. And she really developed over the years. When we first saw Megan, uh, we thought of her feisty spirit on the field. Uh, she's a real go-getter, had a lot of variety in her stick skills. And as we continued to watch her play, her lax IQ just grew and grew. You could tell that she was very coachable. She had a positive attitude. And through the recruiting process, it became evident that she belonged uh, on our Chanticleer roster. Every day we lick, every day we